YouTube was good. Be short and devil, y'all. Episode 34. Soccer Manager 2018. Road to Glory Series with Tours FC. I hope y'all are having a great week. It is Tuesday. And y'all, it's another day, another chance for us to continue to stay atop league Hoon and progress further in the Coupe de la League. Y'all see the goal, win the cup match. It's, it's, if you see orange, the goal is to win the cup match. Secondary goal that I didn't put on the... Uh, start screen here today i want to win two matches because if we win two matches we get 100 manager points and then we get a new level in the game so that we get more club points to spend on the team which is like the main super goal for me right now because i can then spend them on different stuff i'm probably gonna spend some of them on scouting so i can scout some of the players that you guys submit because they're south american players or north or players in the united states and i just can't scout those players yet so i might get it so i can scout everywhere in the game and also spend some on um the stadium to get medical upgrades as well as uh speedier um stadium upgrades so um also check the short list please check the short list before you guys add any players uh, su suggesting the players in the comments because a lot of you guys like for example three people last episode suggested uh Jan Fiete Arp he was on the short I added him on the short list last episode and I still had three people in the comments suggesting Arp but before you suggest a player come to the start of the episode literally second one of the episode and check who I've added to the short list to see if they're on the short list um just to save everybody's time but thanks to everybody who's still suggesting players it seems like I'm just going to be raiding the Bundesliga for players because so many of you guys just play young players at Leipzig and Freiburg and Amberg and all those teams. But anyway, without further ado, we're going to get into this episode. Uh, we're not going to jump right into the games. I have been suggested to show you guys my tactics. So I'm going to start off showing you the tactics that I use for this Taurus FC squad. Let's get into it. All right. So you guys wanted to see the tactics that I use. First off, the formation I use is the 4-4-2-C which gives me this nice little diamond. Everybody's a central midfielder, either attacking, defensive, or just in the middle. I get two forwards, four defenders, the goalkeeper, of course. Now, my actual tactics tab here. Tactics style is normal. A lot of people like to use um, hard, but a lot of, or, or even aggressive. A lot of my guys already are pretty aggressive just because I've got the aggression training on. And they come in pretty aggressive. So last thing I need is more aggressive tackling. It will be yellow and red card city more than it already is. Passing style is short um, as opposed to mixed direct and long ball. I didn't know direct was a thing. I might try to direct one of these days. Maybe once I have it pretty secured that we're going to win the league, I might try something like direct. But right now I run short uh, just because, again, everybody's already kind of compact. So it makes short passing very easy. And same thing with the tempo. I go with fast passing just because... Um, I like to get a good high passing midfield so um, move the ball from here to here very fast no keeping it on our own half no slow build up mentality is attacking um, it's always attacking and I don't feel like there's really any kind of um, backlash that I'm getting from that I don't get a lot of goals scored on me I seem to maintain a lot of the possession I think that's just due to the quality of the midfield so this attacking mentality doesn't really hurt the team. Uh, mixed, so this way we're not just always playing through the midfield. That's why you always see Vieira or Alinea or even Tielemans, Teram Cassier, those guys end up floating out wide and they play in crosses. Um, doing it with mixed that way so we, we still can attack down the wings, um, even if it's just the midfielders. And we're not just trying to only pass through and break a team down to the midfield. And pressing, I only press in my own half. I don't press all the way up the field. Um, because I think we're doing, I think it's probably good that I run attacking and pressing in my own half. That way, um, even if we're pushing forward, I'm also trying to play a bunch of players forward and press all the way up the field. We're not overextended. The players know if the, if it doesn't work out, back up, back up, back up, and, and deal with pressure on our own half instead of trying to press all the way up the pitch. So with all that said, we looked at my tactics because the rest of the stuff doesn't really matter. Um, so with all that said. Uh, let's get ready for our first match of the episode. Try to get these manager points, get these wins, keep this lead over PSG. This two-point lead we have over PSG. We need to keep the lead on points because we damn sure can't do it on goal differential. We are 20 behind on goal difference. But it's just the results, man. We had the results come our way. Um, so, yeah, with all that said, see you guys for the first match against Montpellier. All right, so we've made a few changes here. 
Um, I brought in Diallo to start, giving Teron just a little bit of a break so he can be ready. Um, hopefully, he can get a full game's rest and he can be prepared for the match um, in a few days again because we were on very short. Like, there was a two-day break between that match and this match. Uh, we brought Matt in for LaCelso, Neves in for Ronaldo Vieira for all the same reasons. Give him some break. Um, we're going to leave everybody else the same, though, and hopefully everybody can hold it together as we go up against Montpellier at the Valier du Cher. Look at that construction going on up top. Good stuff from the construction boys. Let's get this dub for the tours, boys. Uh oh, Kelly is in there. Have this is either probably gonna be a foul. It is. Is my Stour with a terrible challenge? Don't don't get a yellow already. It's been less than two minutes in. My Stour's already got a yellow card. Terrible stuff for your boy, Matt Stower. And this Tielemans playing the 45s, Ruben Neves. Ruben Neves is going to play in the cross. It's Diallo. And Diallo gets it around the Comte. One nil for Tours. Good stuff from the boy, Diallo, the young boy. Uh, good stuff from Diallo. Oh, we're playing it forward again. Matt Stower lost it, though. And Gomez. Joe Gomez, what are you doing, son? Like, these fouls in the midfield are so aggravating. Like, you see all these yellow cards we get. If we had tackling on hard, we'd be getting so many more yellows. So, this is why uh, the tackling kind of scaled back a bit. All right, playing around. Diallo plays the forward to Alain. Diallo's farther back than I would like him. But they found, oh, Castiera, but LeCompte on it. Good stuff from him. He's resurrected himself after that goal in the first half he let in. That was a throw in for Tours. Alinea throws it in. 92nd minute, though. It's full time. 1 0 for Tours over Montpellier. Not the flashiest win. Not the sexiest win. Not the most goals. But we did get the most points. And that's all that matters. Three points on the table. 50 for me. Goals for Diallo. Assist for Neves. Good stuff from the boys all around. PSG 5 1 over Brestois. You know what I'm saying? That's why we have to keep getting these wins because PSG is out here wrecking teams. We just have to make sure we stay above them on points. Um, hopefully, we can get another little bit because I don't feel comfortable on just a two-point advantage because we still have to play PSG again. Like, let's be honest here. This is not this. This isn't exactly what you want to see. But all that said, uh, one more match, one more win, we need to get the 50 manager points to get all another whole another level get all the club points we already got one club point from the free pack the bonus free packs uh, so with all that said let's get in to this Lorient match and i'll see you guys for that all right guys so we made some more changes brought Teron back in brought uh ronaldo vieira in for alinea we took telemans off for bk i'm going to put telemans on probably at half time especially if things are going really haywire just because I really want Telemans in. Like, I'd much rather have Telemans in there than, than uh, BK. And uh, part of me, can Neves play DM? Because I kind of want to do a little of this. Because BK was much more effective here than he was here. So we're going to try that. We're going to put Neves at the defensive mid. BK out on the wing here so he can be a little more forward. And can kind of affect the game a little more with his passing. Um, as well as being a more defense, a forward playing defender. Um, just make us a little more solid defensively. Hopefully, that's enough to get us to win. I'm not going to change any of the defenders around. I know they're tired, but um, we just don't have the defensive depth that we need right now. That's probably our biggest flaw in uh, the way we built this team. There's no defensive depth. But hopefully, that won't come back to bite us here as we play Lorient on the road. Oh, no. Warris is free. I'd much rather see a foul here because LaFont could not get to that shot. So we're down 1 0. Lorient. Good stuff from them. You have to get him props when the goal. Look how many players that goal took. Uh, Gratit, though, plays a forward to Taram. Who finds, I think that was Matt Stower, who tapped it to Cassier, and he ties it up 1 1. Look how many players we had for it, too, man. See, this is just the kind of things you have to see. Look at the way we play the game. We sent all those men forward. Gomez playing 4-2. This is a corner kick. This better be Silva on it. It was Cassiero on the goal kick. Who Teron tapped it to Nelson Monte who came forward and got the second goal. Three goals in less than 13 minutes. Very active opening to this match. Hopefully we can kind of ice it away early here. We have a lot of tired squad. BK up front. Plays it to Teron. Teron across. Ronaldo Vieira played it back to Matt Stower. Look at that lovely ping pong passing in the air. My man Teron played it all the way across the box. 
Fowler out of here, who played it back into the middle, got messed out. You get the defense moving, you get the keepers moving. That's the goal here. Teram on a run. We're in the 25th minute. Teram taps it to Matt Stauer. Matt Stauer can't get it past Petkovic. Good stuff, though, from those boys in blue. Towards that scene, we're right there. Oh, Monte just got attacked here. I think we're going to be seeing a red card for Lorient right now. And we are red card. So now Lorient's down to 10 men. I might leave Tielemans off so he can get a full little bit of rest here. Oh, no, Teron got hurt. So we're going to go with my man, Diallo. Teron not able to walk off. That is not good. Diallo might be starting here soon. It's going to be a free kick for Cabot. Cabot, not sure. We are in France. Right in LaFont's midst, though, man, like LaFont. Good stuff from him. Mastar on a run. Mastar with all the space in the world. What's he going to do with it, though? He took a shot from there. That was probably the worst decision he could have taken. But you're up 3 1. You still you, you, you ice the game away. It's a chance to ice the game away if you can. And BK looks like he did a atrocious foul down there. He's going to be subject to some discipline from the ref. That should just hopefully be a yellow. Please just be a yellow. Please, 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 please. Yellow. Good stuff from the ref. Going to take BK out now just to make sure that doesn't come back to bite us. And we will bring Yuri Tielemans in and let him go to his defensive mid spot and hopefully seal this game up 3-1. Oh, ball around in the midfield. Cassiera don't foul Kabat. Ah, I knew he was going to do it. Like, I saw it. I was like, it's too early for us to be making a run. Cassiera's going to make a stupid foul. We don't have a forward to bring in for Cassiera, so we have to pray that he can play 12 minutes without doing another stupid foul. The boys playing a four silver plays it across Tielemans back to Gomez full time three one fifty manager points we have a new manager level we have just hit level seven with all the club points that come along with it fifty manager points look at how active that first half is it's absolutely ridiculous uh goal and assist from Matt Stauer goal from Cassier goal from Monte assist from Taram who also got hurt. Manager level 7, 14 club points, 6 million more dollars. Look at the money situation, 23 mil. PSG draws against Marseille. We just got our lead extended. That makes it, what, 5 now? Yo, this was like the best game ever. We may have just, like, iced the lead. Like, oh, man, Taram. Okay, it's only oh, it's five weeks. I want to say only five weeks. It's not too long. It'll be the rest of this episode. Now, how do we spend these club points? Let's look around at what we can do. Stadium capacity. We got 15. So we can actually unlock five different things here. Um, I also, though, want to spend some on scouting. Uh, so I can spend three here because I want to get this being able to scout whole continents. Just so, because you guys suggest players from everywhere. I want to be able to scout them. So I can spend... The two on here to get several positions at once. And then the one to get the world network. I want to plan this out before I spend one point. Then I can spend three to get the plus one percent on the money. So that'd be six. And then I can spend three on maintenance here to shorten the build time. Three on the medical center to lower the chances of people getting injured in training, which happens a lot. And then spend another one. To have them return from injury quicker or could i be spending it here this is in the tennis Ooh, i really want to do that though i kind of want more money although we got more fans coming in so like in the increase in the the home fans won't help much the ticket prices will help we're going to get a little money here so i'm going to do all of that uh right now actually so spend those three points there spend this point here to shorten the build time Oh, I got. I just really got to spend three here to unlock this. They done me dirty. We got to get that scouting unlocked, though. It's more important to unlock that scouting so I can continue to scout all those players. Oh, you sucker. You need 10 for this. That ain't that about to be. All right. Go back to the stadium. And what's home advantage? Plus, oh, we can play better at home. That would be so nice. I guess we'll increase the ticket prices, though. And we'll keep that one. And we got to get 4,000 more friggin' club points. Like, it, like, like they, they trick you so... That's so dirty the way they trick you. 10. Like, that says of one. 10 club points at one time. They think they slick. 
think they are slick. We can do multiple positions though, so that makes scouting a little bit more efficient. So I guess I gotta wait till I win another, what is this, 80 games? It's like two seasons, bro. I might have to spend a little, spend some of these on some club points, man. When I get up to 400, I might have to grab five. Or maybe just wait till I get to 600, because I'm not spending any actual cash here. But I do stack these up. So maybe it is. Maybe I'll have to do wait till we get 600 of these and just grab 10 club points that way. Because I'm sure we'll get 600 coins faster than we'll get uh, 80 wins. Because I'm on this on a regular basis, checking the bonuses um, to get. And usually get around five to ten coins per bonus thing, so we'll get that that extra money quicker. But anyway, all that said, see you guys in a week for the match against guys like Ajacio. All right, so before the cup match, I want to correct some bad math I did. Uh, we're up four on PSG, not three. I mean, not five. I said five. Uh, at least I exclaimed five at the start. We're up four on PSG, which is still more than the game. We can stand to lose to PSG and still make it out alive this season. But right now, the goal is to be Gazelek Ajacio. Uh, and right now, I mean, right now it's looking like it's gonna be us, Leon, Monaco, Marseille in the last uh, four in the semifinal. Uh, made a few changes. Uh, Taram is injured. You can see the red line there, he's hurt. Um, and Almeida got hurt and healed up. So Almeida's still out. So what we've done is we've got Diallo starting up top, Lo Celso back in, Neves back in his spot, Alenia back off the bench, Tielemans in his spot, Gradit starting at right back. Uh, yeah, I'm cool with this. Let's go. Get this dub against Gazalek Ajacio. Coupe de la Ligue goal of this episode is to win this match, make it to the semifinals of the Coupe de la Ligue. Let's do it. Throw in for Campani. This is in there inside though. LaCelso steals it. Finds Cassier who gets it around the keeper. Easy pickings for the boy. For the boy, Mateo Cassier. We still out here. But I love to see. This in there box. It ends up bouncing out to Neves, who's definitely gonna play in a lovely cross. Who's gonna find? He found Alenia, making it 2 0 inside 12 minutes. This is how you should play against the league do side. This is exactly what we should be seeing this team play against the league do squad. Cassiera plays it forward to Neves, plays it to Celso, one task to Diallo, can Diallo, can the young man, the young man gets his, oh, gets the third for the squad, Vincent Diallo, and we are out here absolutely whooping these boys now. It's 3-0 inside 25 minutes. Uh, La Celso to Tielemans, and it's gonna go out to Diallo, plays it in, Cassiera, and oh that's Neves it's four though that's all that matters I mean these boys are out here oh my goodness look at this work that we are putting in 4-0 can we go back to league dude we'd win all the matches 35 minutes Ba plays it Alenia Tacit Diallo right to keeper again it's five it's five nil like I five brother five bro five can we Brazil these dudes? Can we Brazil these boys? Oh, Cassier's gonna try to find another one. He plays the LaCelso. LaCelso, is he gonna get a six before I try? He does, it's six nil. So I feel safe in saying this because we ran off six on these boys in just one half of football. But last episode, when I saw that we drew this team, I literally wanted to say out loud, we have an easy pass to the semifinals. Cassier's gonna try to get us another one? No. Yo, six goals in one half of football. Oh my god, look at the 10s! Look at the 10s! Cassiera, Diallo, Neves, Alenia, all on 10. Bro, I'm resting Gomez. That's what I'm gonna give a break. I'm giving Gomez a break, and I'm gonna give Monte a break, because them boys been working hard. Like, I'm making that decision right now. Them boys is tired. I don't even make any damn fouls. I don't even get hurt. I'm giving them dudes a break right now. So we're up 6-0. Diallo on a run. He's gonna do a Linga Linga. Is he gonna pass it forward? Linga's gonna take it. No, he's passing to Cassier. Now Cassier around the keeper. 7 0. 7 0. 49th minute. 7 to zip. Son. I thought the cup match was supposed to get harder, baby. Oh, that.
What? Do I get a free sub for this? Because like the injured use all the sub. All right, so let's do this action here. We're going to move my man up, up and away. We don't need anybody in the center attacking mid spot. We can finish the game off like that. Wait, they still making me play Gratit? My man is hurt. Wait, we, what is it, was Gratit about to get goal? Alenia. Basically, we moved the injured player out. Eight, this is my best game ever. Title, thumbnail, best game ever. Best match ever, Burgundy, Cassiera. Like, Gratit, the fact that Gratit's injured and they're just like, fuck it, play him anyway. If he dies, he dies. I'm playing that Canada dudes want to have like a year long fucking ACL tear. Like, I'm out of subs. What am I to do? 50 manager points. 25 shots. 15 of them on goal. Sheesh. Look at them balls, bruh. Look at the Ty Dillinger must have been playing. 10, 10, 10. 10, 10, all the attackers, bruh. Alina, two goals and an assist. LaCelso, a goal and an assist. Diallo, two goals and an assist. Castiero, two goals and an assist. Neves, a goal and an assist. Jesus Christ, bruh. Like, we's out here whooping these boys. Whooping ass. Now, that's the, look at that. I mean, that's just domination up front. That's ridiculous. Eight to zero. And I call the rest of the matches. Leon, Monaco, Marseille, all getting the win like I anticipated. So who do you think we're going to get? Do you think we're going to get Marseille? I want, uh, I kind of want Leon because I feel like we've beaten Leon this season. I can't remember how that match went. Uh, Monaco's, I know, probably will be the hardest of those teams. Monaco or Marseille. Those are th literally three, four, and five in the league. So all of them are actually going to be hard. Grad is only out for four, four days with a foot injury. And uh, yeah, let's see who this semifinal draw is going to be. Let's look at the youth promotion. Talil, not going to be the player we're going to use every single match. He's not like, you know, the player you want to see. Automatic draw. Let's do it. And we got Monaco. And they put the Olympics against each other. And we get to deal with AS Monaco. Hooray. All right, see you guys for the match against Thad Rene. All right, guys, we're going to keep basically the same squad. Have brought Almeida back off the bench. He's uh, got his fitness back up pretty well. We're going to keep the same squad in the midfield, though. Uh, probably will make some substitutions throughout the game at the Valet du Cher. Get them home. Uh, ticket money. Get that ticket money. Get that ticket sales for the boys. Good stuff. Team. Time for good stuff for the boys. Let's go. You can start Renee. Alenia out wide is going to play in a cross. What you got for me? Show me something, boys. Cassiera one taps it to Neves, who came in late. And he got us to go early. Within the first minute, towards one. Stad Renee nil. Let's keep this up. Free kick for Yori Telemans. Well, you know what happened the last time Yori Telemans took a free kick? Directly, ah, Kubek. Cleans it up nicely too. Didn't leave any spills for one of those arriving boys in blue to come clean up. Alinea out wide again. What's he got for us? Cassiera this time gets it past the keeper. Two goals within eight minutes. The boys are firing on all cylinders right now. I have no fear of any team in this league right now. Not even PSG. I'm gonna be totally honest. We are like now that we've got the whole squad because I remember that PSG game. We did not have the whole team ready and raring to go. We now have the whole team ready to get these get these dubs. Who took the corner? Diallo took the corner. And he finds Cassiera. Finds the noggin of the boy, Cassiera. Making it 3-2-0. I think we're the best team in France. I'm just going to say it out loud right now. Well, you watch the way we perform. Watch the way we beat up on these clubs. Like, I think it's safe to call us one of the best teams in this whole country. As I think we're about to head to halftime. Yes, we are. Pretty short sure halftime. 3 0 in a halftime. We are out here showing an utterly dominating performance. Cassiera out there putting goals in for fun. And the boys are winning. This was, what more can you ask for? Let's go. 3 0. Finish this game off in style. Uh oh, Andre. They've got a direct free kick. Show me something, LaFont. 
Yeah, Albin. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. Moving it forward. Diallo on the run. Diallo, what you got for me, young boy? Ah, right at the keeper. Come on. Come on, son. Cassiero on the run through the midfield. BK's got it. He brought him in as a sub. Lacelso. BK, the assist king, has made his return finding Lacelso. Oh, good stuff for Neil. Pretty much got us another W. Good stuff from our boys. Lacelso play it for Cassier. Diallo. Can the young man get it again? Yeah, Diallo and these these passes. Basically passing it to the keeper. We gotta get this shot, that finishing up, young man. Lacelso though intercepts it or tackles it right to Alinea. Lacelso gets it back. Lacelso out there working hard. 5-0. We're just scoring for fun. It's 13 goals in the last two matches. Boys are out here making it look easy. 93rd minute BK. Is he going to play it in or is he going to end up on the outside here? BK playing across. Oh, ran it out. Oh, they're going to call it full time. 5 2 0 tours. FC over Stad Rene. Good stuff. More manager points. And I mean, the Celso with two goals. Oh, they did, they did, they, they, where's, uh, oh, the nigga BK is assist. I could have sworn BK got that assist. Oh, well. The Celso, two goals. Cassier, two goals. Neves, a goal. Diallo and Alinea with the assist. I'm sure that BK got that assist, but it's all good in the hood. And PSG, 3-0 over Lille. Not letting us get any more of a points lead than we already have. Let me see when that cup match is. Uh, so right now. The situation looks like we're going to play the last six matches all in one episode. Next episode, usually we play five games. We're going to play six. We're going to get us a nice stretched out Wednesday episode because you guys get the cup match. And we might be playing us. If we beat Monaco, we get the cup final. So uh, you might get seven next episode. It's going to be the biggest episode we've done so far uh, for sure. But, you know, we get to finish off the season in style. Uh, but yeah, let's get ready for this last match against Leon and we get oh, we have to start off Oh, no, and we got look at this stretch of games. We have a Leon and then three days later We have PSG. They don't give us any break for this PSG match. Are you kidding me? And then right after that we've got a match against Strasbourg and then we get a week off for the cup match <sighs> All right, you know what these are the uh, These are the punishments of winning these are the struggles that come with being victorious. I'll see you guys for the match against Leon. We're still going out against Leon full strength. We're going to go out against PSG full strength with just a little bit of fitness issues. But I think we'll have somebody back. If they're not back for this match against Leon, they'll be back for the match against PSG. All right, guys. So I was hoping, I was hoping, I was hoping Moise Keane would be ready for this game. But his fitness is just, it's just not where you want it to be. I think I'm going to let him rest this one out. And he'll be, hopefully... Uh, a little bit more ready for the PSG game. Um, I don't know though. You never know. I don't know. I want to know in the comments. Does playing players help increase their fitness, or does it just have to be them resting and not playing any matches? Let me know in the comments because I don't know. I've been I haven't been able to figure out that mechanic yet. And I'm not sure if it's in the uh, help settings. Um, let's find out together real quick. Is it in help? I'm just going. This is going to be literally so fast. Uh, let me see, it'll be in squad. Uh, condition affects performance. How do I increase the player's fitness? Visit your facilities, unlock the stamina. Make sure you're not overplaying them. It's wise to rotate the squad. If you have a big game coming up, peak boost condition. Ooh. Oh, that's interesting. Hey guys, poll time. Should I? Uh, can I even do that? Let me make sure I can. I'm sure I can afford it. Should I boost the fitness on Moise Keane for the PSG match? That's the poll. I want to know. Because I really want to save up these, these coins to buy club points. But at the same time, I really, really want Moise Keane for the uh, cup. I mean, not the cup match, for the PSG match. Because that's extremely important. Moise Keane is a player that you want to have. So let me know in the poll that's going to go up right here. Should I, uh, should I sign or should I use the boost fitness on Moise Keane? 
uh, if he's not prepared, like if he's not adequately fit for the match. Because uh, Moise Keane is somebody I want out there. Because Keane and Cassiera, if I have the whole team, PSG is going to be praying that we don't run them out the park. Um, I am going to do Williams for for uh, Silver there, but other than that, I'm gonna keep this team basically as it is. Uh, as we go up against Leon, look at that that stadium, the roof on that stadium, nice. Gotta get props for that. Let's go get this dub real quick. Uh oh, the boys in black. We got here in a black Alinea playing a cross for the boy Neves. Late arrival once again. Early goal for Ruben Neves off the cross, making it one nil. For Leon over or to tours over Leon. Uh oh, it's Gomez. Yo, Gomez making a run. Passing it. The passing. La Celso right around Anthony Lopez. 2 0 tours over Leon. Y'all. Look at these get these games. Look at these scores, bruh. We out here. Uh oh. They're gonna throw uh oh no LaFont. Oh, it looked like LaFont tapped it too. Uh, it looked like it like bounced off of LaFont's little sprite. We're not out these woods yet, man. It is two to one against Leon. Can we hold the lead? Uh oh. Throw in Diallo over the top. Cassiera right at Lopez. Oh, come on. You can't hit it right at the keeper. Uh oh. In the midfield, they're bouncing around their own side. Cassiera though on the steal. Cassiera doing it by himself. One man team things for Mateo Cassiera. Making it 3-1, taking matters into his own hands. That's why we want him and Moise Keane out there at the same time against PSG. Because Moise Keane, like, they on that do-it-all thing, man. Like, it's Lords of the Underground out here. Do-it-all. Uh-oh, Diallo. Oh, no, young man. Why are you making these fouls? It's going in the half time. Just let it go. Just a yellow card. Uh, what do I do for Diallo? I'm going to let him play a little bit longer. Probably take him out around 60th minute or so. Because I trust he won't make another stupid foul. It's been a long time. This is like his first dumb foul he's made, so I doubt he makes two in one game, but that is halftime. We're up three to one. He's not having the best game either. I could put out Burger New. I could give Mastower a little bit of a run um, up top. I don't think Mastower is built for that, though. He can kind of play up there. Uh, yeah, I'm going to let Mastower give, a, give Mastower a little bit of a run. I don't want Diallo out. out. It's just in case you guys vote not to use the option on Moise Keen. Um, I want to have Diallo out on full fitness, and I don't want him on a red card. Be out for three matches, because Diallo, I mean, he's still the depth in our forward line. They're passing around their own defense. That is a danger against the boys in black. But Telemans just took out Nabil Fakir. Uh, that's the cool thing with play. It's he's like Leo and PSG, because I know who the hell I'm talking about. I'm not talking about just some random French dude uh, on, on the pitch right now. Uh, so that's a yellow card for Telemans. Might see BK come on in a little bit. Uh oh, Memphis Depay. Depay finds Fakir. Fakir's gonna play in the middle for Cornet, and Lafont had no answer for it. We are not out of the woods yet. We are only up three to two. PSG doesn't even play today. They get to watch us and then uh, go from there on the next game day. So we're gonna actually sim a little forward after our last match to see what PSG score is. It looks like we're going to finish this game out. Gomez plays it forward. Cassier is gonna dribble forward. Lost the ball, but it's full time. Three, two, close game. But we get the win over Olympic Leone. Good stuff for the boys. Three to two. Another undefeated episode. And probably one of our most, definitely our most full goal scoring one yet. Uh, goal and assist for Cassier. Goal for LaCelso. Goal for Neves. And assist for Aline. Yeah. Good stuff from the boys. Uh, yeah, like I said, PSG is not playing today. So... We've got to see what they do in the next uh, match day. They play in Nice. They beat Nice 1 0, so it's still only a four point lead as we head into the end of the season. Y'all, it's the last episode of the first season of League Own. I also want to point one more thing out, right? Just because of math and all that. I'm assuming this green line is Champions League qualification. We are. Um, 22 points ahead of Leon. You guys cannot see because of my base cam. Go ahead and move that out the way for y'all so you can see right here. We are 22 points up on Leon, and considering there are only five matches left in the season, 15 points up for grabs, we have officially clinched top two, meaning we are Champions League bound next season, uh, which is basically going to be the goal of next season is going to try to win the Champions League. But we are going to be Champions League bound, and we're going to be fighting 
with PSG here towards the end of the season to make sure that hopefully that stays uh, as Champions League bound in first place, hopefully getting us in a, a good group um, as opposed to a group like a group of death or a hard group. Um, yeah, y'all, we're, we're, we're the team is doing damn good right now. 25 million up on the cash, uh, four points up on PSG in the table. Y'all, first with five league matches left to go, six semi final place in the Coupe de la Ligue. I'm almost a thousand percent certain that deserves a like on the video. Please leave a like on this video for the tours. Boys. Not even for me, it's for the boys. The boys out here been working so hard this season. Five games left in the year, dog. Like, like I want to take a look at the statistics. Check the statistics real quick. Cassiera, four behind Hamuma for leading goal scorer. Moise Keane, who's been out for so long. He's still in 17th. Look at the assist numbers. Uh, the Alinea out there on tied for 10th with nine. Good stuff from him. Match performance, that's why I knew we were gonna shine. Telemans, Neves, Endoy, Vieira, Alinea. Who is anybody else in this list? Luvion, BK. Boys out here playing man of the match awards. Uh, Cassiera's got the most. Neves and Alinea right there are tied with him. Like, like y'all, we are the boys out here working hard. Like this video. Subscribe if you are new. We do this every single day. And tomorrow, Wednesday's episode will be the last episode of this League Un season. This first campaign for the Tours FC boys in League Un. We're going to play all six episodes. If we win the Coupe de la League semifinal and go to the final, we'll play that too, making it seven. This will be the biggest episode we played. Most games we played in an episode, we've never played even six, and we get to play seven this time. So, with all that said, like the video, subscribe, hit the notifications so you know when we upload this video tomorrow. And y'all, check out some of the other stuff on the channel. We got Pokemon Let's Plays now. We got Free Game Friday going on now. All kinds of fun moving parts going on in the channel. I will talk to you guys later. I will see y'all tomorrow. Peace.